Okay, so postulates are just what? What did I tell you they were? Definitions. Definitions. Okay, so we're going to start doing proofs in a couple of days, and you will have to justify all of your statements, so you'll have to know those definitions. We're going to look at page 125, and we're going to start with postulate 2.1, 2-1, 2.1. It doesn't matter how you want to write it, just as long as you know what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, postulate 2-1 says, um, how's it said exactly? There are through any. Okay, through any two points, there is exactly... You think? One line. Okay, through any two points, there's exactly one line. So if I took two points, I can only draw one line through them. There is no other way. There's I'll get it right. Messed up. Okay, so we've got a we've got two points and exactly one line through. I can't draw the line any other way. Um, let's say that I labeled these A and B. Line A B is the same. is the same as BA. Doesn't matter how you draw it, doesn't matter the order because they both extend on to infinity. Okay, so let's look at the second one. <clears throat> 2 dash 2, again 2.2, I think the book writes it. I write them as dashes, you can write it however you want to. Um, 2 dash 2, through any, uh, does it say through? Yeah, through any three. Through any three non collinear keyword non collinear, what does that mean? Not They're not on the same line. Through any three non collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Is that better? Okay. There is exactly... I'm getting a lot of critiques from the peanut gallery behind me, so there is exactly one plane. Okay. 2-2, two two, through any three non-collinear points, there is exactly one plane. Now, could two of the points be collinear? Yeah. All right. So let's take, um, let's get us a shape. Oh, let's go with good old rectangle. Okay. Good old rectangle. There's a plane. <clears throat> Who's got a birthday this month? All right. We've already used yours. Anthony, give me a, a letter A through Z. Z. So this is going to be plane Z. Okay, remember the plane is typically labeled as a capital letter, and then all of the points are typically lowercase. Okay, so let's say that, and I'm going to draw it the right way this time. Let's say that I have two collinear points, but then I have this point out here. Let's call them, and then I just say that and I write it wrong, A, B, and C. Okay, three non-collinear points, 
and again, just one of them being off the line makes it non-collinear. We would surround that with the surface. You know, it could be a parallelogram, it could be a trapezoid, it could be anything that would be a plane. We have exactly one plane. So there are seven of these on page 125. I'm going to stop there with two, and then let's go over to page 128, and let's look at examples. Planes P and Q intersect at line R. Okay. First, is that a true statement? Yes. Looking at the looking at the example, do planes P and Q intersect at line R? Yes. Okay. So, what do the directions ask you to do? Okay, so we explain whether it's true. That's our first. That's our first statement. All right. The first answer to this problem is true. Now, what does it say after that? Then state the postulate. We'll postulate that it can be used to show each. Okay. So there are seven postulates to choose from. So go back to 125. And which one proves that true? The second part of the problem is going to be to identify the postulate. And I'm not going to make you write the whole thing. You can thank me later. Josh, especially. Because you're always asking me if you can write less. Yes. Instead of writing out the entire postulate, you can just write postulate 2-7. Okay, so you don't have to write out what does postulate two seven say again? No, you have to write postulate two dash seven. Then write the whole thing. I don't care. You can write if two planes intersect, then their intersection is a line. Feel free. All right, <laughs> your choice. Okay, so most of the questions are just like that. They make a statement. You state whether it's true or false by the given information, and then you back up your statement. Okay? Gentlemen, every day we make statements. Ladies, every day we make statements that are either true or false. When somebody asks you to prove it, can you? Okay? All right. That's Chapter 2, Section 5.